Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time, what's going on for you in love at this time. And then we'll look at your person's energies towards you, their thoughts, intentions, and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Gemini watching. So take what, res what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Gemini. For Gemini, spirit angels, guys. What does Gemini need to know regarding love? What's going on for Gemini's in love at this time? What does Gemini need to know? What's going on for Gemini? All right, let's cut the deck and see what we get for you, Gemini. Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, okay, two tens, and the moon, Pisces energy. Hmm. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the seven of swords. Okay, so I feel there's something going on that you're not really aware of with the moon and the seven of swords. Um, tens are all about completion, the end of cycles, something like culminating. So I feel like there's something that's going to be shifting in the near future for you regarding love. Um, I feel like this ten of wands could be that you or the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with are carrying some sort of burden or feel burdened um and i feel like with this ten of pentacles it's like it's not forever this burden is not going to keep you from ultimate fulfillment and security um but there's something going on right now that you're just not aware of with the moon it could be that someone has been holding back their emotions here because the moon is all about what's hidden, what's underneath the surface, what's under, um, I guess you could say the water. So like, okay, there's something going on. Hold on, I'm picturing so many things right now. Um, especially in this deck, she's underwater. So uh, it's not just that there's something hidden underwater, but you can't hear anything either. You can't see above, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's like there's something that's really out of sight, out of mind for you. That's okay. That makes more sense. Um, okay. So let's see what else we get about these energies. Tell me about the 10 of wands. What's this 10 of wands about? What is this 10 of wands about? King of swords and the four of pentacles. Oh yeah. I feel like someone has definitely been holding back um some sort of truth some sort of information with the king of swords aquarius libra gemini energy there i think that someone's holding back something important uh with these energies and there's a knight of cups at the bottom of the deck so it could be the way that someone's feeling um an apology they might want to express tell me about the ten of pentacles what can you tell me about the ten of pentacles for gemini Six of Swords, some sort of transition, moving um, away from something towards something new. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. The Magician. So someone's making this happen. I feel like someone's making some sort of move forward into this Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a person who already has a commitment or something like that that they need to move away from. Can get one more for this Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit, Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but again, I get this energy of like what you're not aware of. Because the Hermit is usually away, um, withdrawn, away from everyone. They're alone, they're pensive, they're quiet, they're thoughtful, they're reflective. And so they're planning their next steps with the Magician and the Hermit. So I feel make some sort of move, but I don't think they're communicating this, if that makes sense. Um, there's the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So someone's really thinking about a new beginning here between the Hermit and the Ace of Wands. Something new that they would want to start. A new adventure. Tell me about the Moon. Three of Swords. Okay, tell me about the Moon. What do we need to know about the Moon for Gemini Spirit? The Queen of Cups. Interesting, Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, 
and death scorpio energy okay something's definitely ending with the ten of wands ten of pentacles and now the death card six of swords again there's like a big change happening here something is changing or ending um in order for something new to begin i think this is an emotional shift for someone with the three of swords queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy maybe someone's feeling very intuitive right now maybe they are um feeling doubtful with the moon maybe they're hurting um, with the three of swords about whatever this ending is and there's the five of wands at the bottom of the deck so there could be some sort of um conflict that someone is um dealing with tell me about death what's this death about what is death doing here four of swords healing reflecting again no communication no action with the four of swords this is someone that's literally laying down and thinking healing reflecting i feel like someone's making a, a change in their life for the better this could be you this could be your person i feel like something is ending a cycle is ending in your life gemini or the person that you're dealing with in their life um and it's a necessary change it's bringing about some sort of healing bottom of the deck i have the ace of swords so we've gotten two aces so far ace of wands ace of swords ace of swords is all about clarity victory communication the truth um i think that someone's very aware right now of what they have to do um of this ending why it has to take place maybe there's a conversation that's going to take place gemini where someone explains this ending or it's it's almost like this truth that cannot be ignored for you or your person what else do we have to know for Gemini regarding love, the energy surrounding love for Gemini? What else do we have to know, Spirit, for Gemini? What do we have to know for Gemini? Looking inward, so we have another, like, this is um, a card very similar to the Hermit. Someone looking inward, reflecting, planning their next steps, and burning passion. So yeah, I feel like someone has something that they are... Um, passionate about interested in driven by could be the way they feel about you it could be just passionate about a new start lasting promise long-term commitments longevity future commitments hmm interesting there's moving forward at the bottom of the deck which i feel is kind of like the theme here with the six of swords moving forward and then the aces that are coming up in the tens that we see here when i put it all together it's almost like something's drawing to a close and it has to draw to a close in order to bring about a new cycle a new beginning for someone i feel like some of you gemini's are dealing with a person that's already married and um, this interrupts their burning passion so uh, it's an obstacle for someone that fact that they're already committed that's not for all of you i feel like some of you here this is like what you could have as long as someone moves forward right they're together moving forward and lasting promise they're, they're a package deal okay so let's see um what else we can get here let's look at their energies spirit what is this person's energies oops towards gemini what are their energies towards gemini what do we need to know we have the six of cups wanted to flip out there let me move these up what are this person's energies towards gemini what are this person's energies towards gemini temperance sagittarius energy what else can you tell us spirit for gemini what are this person's energies okay we have the fool yeah there's definitely a new beginning four of cups and then i'm just going to look at these before i put them back because they kind of fell here there's a ten of swords yeah ten of swords two of swords some sort of difficult decision about an ending that has to take place here and the nine of pentacles independence security freedom i feel like someone needs to be independent of something so that they can have this new beginning the fool and this is slowly coming together with temperance and the fool there's something that's slowly coming together here that's either opening a new path for someone or perhaps some sort of conflict is being resolved slowly but surely 
Now this Four of Cups is very interesting to me because it's reminding me of like the Four of Swords in a way. Someone is feeling a bit disinterested, unsure, closed off. Um, maybe they're just not satisfied. Let's clarify this Four of Cups. What can you tell me about this Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups? Okay, there's the devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel like someone feels trapped. Someone feels restricted. Someone is dealing in an un, with an unhealthy attachment. And I feel like it's just affecting their interests here. Oh, there's a tower. Wow, the tower with the devil, crazy. And then the page of swords. So when I see the tower with the page of swords, I think a truth that is revealed, a truth that comes out, or an important truth of some sort that's shocking a revealing um truth you know that kind of energy six of cups this person could be a soulmate gemini but i feel like some of you there's children involved here could be dealing with a capricorn as well with the devil there what's this four of wands yeah something's happening at home i feel there's a tower moment happening in someone's home or where you know their family home or in their family environment Something like that. There's something happening there. And there's the five of wands. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck. So some sort of conflict, again, that someone's experiencing. Um, I think that's the problem is someone's not happy. This person's not happy, Gemini. This person possibly is thinking about how they can get out of this situation. How can they have a new beginning? How can things slowly balance themselves out here? Tell me about the fool. For Gemini why is the fool here eight of swords yeah once again this feeling of like stuck energy being fearful trapped this person in this particular deck they have like um like um I don't know a rope around them it's like this person feels wishes they were free of this restriction What else do we need to know about this person's energy? For Gemini. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Gemini, towards this connection? What do we need to know? This person's energy. You make me happy. And bottom of the deck, I have to give something up. Yeah. In order to be happy, with you, they have to give something up, Gemini. And I feel like that's easier said than done. Um, I feel like that's easier said than done. I think that this person, it's not so simple. And they're restricted in some way. Burdened. Ten of Wands. Um, and again, they have to like leave this behind. But it's a painful departure. Three of Swords is here with the Death card. So whatever ending this is, it's not fun. It's heartbreaking for everyone involved, perhaps. But again, I feel like with the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Swords that showed up, it's like someone has clarity. They know the truth of the situation. They're being very honest with themselves because whoever this is, they're reflecting a lot, thinking a lot. And so I don't see them fantasizing. I don't see them you know, kind of um, dreaming without wanting to actually take some sort of action. I don't really see that here. What else do we need to know about this situation or this person for Gemini Spirit? What else do we need to know about this situation? For Gemini what else do we need to know courthouse number 23 so some sort of decision official uh, decision that someone's making um, this could be um, some sort of contract that needs to be signed some sort of paperwork that needs to be processed it's something in an official capacity could be even legal um, it could be something career related for some 
I feel also like this courthouse, the main energy I'm picking from it is that someone's on their way to make something happen officially or have a final decision be carried out. And then bottom of the deck, imprisonment. Yeah, there's someone that feels imprisoned. Someone feels like they're stuck and they don't want to deal with that anymore. You know, that's not... They don't want to have to feel this way anymore. Okay, so let's get some insight into where all of this is headed. Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Gemini. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. So, some sort of initiative taken. Let me move these over. Someone taking initiative, reaching out in some way. Where is all of this headed? Okay, we have the hangman, the five of wands, and the king of wands. So someone, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy with the king of wands. Someone's taking charge of this conflict, whatever conflict is here. Whatever needs to be resolved, I feel like someone's willing to, um, sorry if I'm like touching the mic. Um, someone's willing to take charge, take action. The King of Wands is a doer. Uh, they're very passionate. They're very motivated. A little bit fearless, can be a bit impulsive, but in a measured way. And I feel like they're being this way because the situation calls for it. There's some sort of conflict that someone needs to address here. Two of Wands is here, so maybe there's a decision that this person will need to make. Let's see, what, what else can you tell me about this Page of Wands? This could be communication, contact, It could, but with the Page of Wands and the King of Wands, I'm thinking that someone's doing something about the situation because the Hangman is here, and the Hangman's all about looking at a situation from a different angle and seeing something there, getting some clarity about the problem, the, the situation. Um, so while someone is stuck, they're thinking, they're seeing things differently. Tell me about this page of wands. The nine of pentacles. Tell me about the page of wands. Okay, so I feel like this is um, steps towards independence. Knight of pentacles and the empress. Yeah, I feel like this is steps towards independence. I'm also getting that you're involved here somehow. I feel like you're this empress, Gemini. Or you're a symbol for a new life, a new path that someone could be taking here. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight, but they're the knight you can count on the most to actually get something done. Again, I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with, they could be an earth sign, they could be a fire sign. Um, we also had Pisces that showed up and... The sign is not as important as the energy, but I feel like whoever this is, they're thinking a lot about what they're doing. It's not just like, oh, I'm just going to go and try this out and see if I actually like make something happen. <laughs> you know, I just don't see them. I just don't see them being that type of person. Um, this is somebody that plans things out, but then when it's time to act, King of Wands, Page of Wands, they're going to do something about it. I think it's some sort of a departure. I think there's they're leaving home leaving past behind, um, un, uh, becoming unstuck. They're removing themselves from a situation. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about for Gemini? Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Wands. New love, emotional fulfillment. Tell me about the Five of Wands. The star, wow. Aquarius energy. And then there's the Ace of Wands. It's beautiful energy. So I feel like whatever is happening here is like someone has hope or faith that this conflict will be resolved, that they will have their Aces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. I will have a new beginning in love. This drama, this conflict, I'm going to fight for what I want and I'm not going to let this kind of stop me. Aquarius energy with the star. Is very fascinating actually when, when you really think about it so let's get some advice for you Gemini I'm gonna be using 
my Stellar Guidance Oracle deck for this. If you're interested in any of the Oracle decks that I use, they are linked down below in the description box. All right. We get some advice, guidance for Gemini. Geminis, I'm changing the extended, how I do extended videos. I've decided to only do extended videos when the situation calls for it, if I'm running out of time during a reading or something like that. And I wanna really get the information for whoever's watching, then I will extend the video and um, post the link in the description box like I always do. I think for your reading, I'm going to see if, because I feel like this person, this page of wands is very important. I feel like someone's willing to take action and take their time to make sure it's done right. Um, I feel like this person, I would want to know about what exactly they're intending to do. Because I see there's a Knight of Wands here. I see a Page of Wands. I know they want new love or a beginning in love. I know that they're thinking about you when they think about this. But, you know, it's like, what exactly do they want with you? And we know that you make them happy. And we got at the bottom of the deck that they have to give something up. So maybe we can get a little bit more insight into what that is. So I think I'm going to extend this one and just get more insight on your person, the situation that they're dealing with, um, and then what they're exactly planning to do with you. Because I feel like that's the missing piece here. Any advice, guidance for Gemini? Next year, number 36. Okay, can we get one more for Gemini? What advice messages do you have for Gemini? Spring. Oh, it could be next spring. That's exactly one year away. Bottom of the deck, be patient. <laughs> so hard for Geminis to be patient because I feel like we've had to be patient already. But the situation calls for a Gemini. I mean, I'm speaking to a Gemini where your person is imprisoned or feels like they're in prison, like they're trapped somewhere. And whatever that situation is, it's not easy to disentangle themselves. Let's get one more energy for your person and then I'll jump to the extended. We get one more energy for this person. What are they thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Gemini? What are their energies towards Gemini spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Oh, these two. Okay, I have never felt a bond as strong as ours. And I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So this person has lost you, Gemini, or feels that they've lost something very important in their life. Something that made them really happy. Bottom of the deck, the path I am on is leading me straight to you. Again, it's a path that I feel will take some time to cross. Um, so I'm going to take this to the extended now, Gemini, but if this reading resonated for you, if you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment if you just want to say hi or want to share how the story resonated for you. Thank you so much for all of your support, your kind comments. Uh, I really appreciate um, my Gemini collective. You guys are always so supportive and kind and just leave some of the best comments <laughs> and um, I really appreciate it. So hopefully I'll see you all in uh, another video and some of you in the extended. Don't forget to check that out in the description box. Thank you so much Gemini and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.